Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed already, I hope you can go down and hit the subscribe button and join me here for videos exactly like this uh, coming out because I still have some other teams to do in this series. I got to do Vancouver and Calgary and Edmonton. And uh, you know, if you're a fan of a team that is in the Eastern Conference, I've done the entire Eastern Conference. I've done the Central Division here in the West and I only have a couple teams left. So if you're not familiar with the series or you, you want to check out some other videos from it, um, they are available. And if the team that you're looking for, it hasn't been done yet, it's coming soon. So thank you for joining me. Hope you're having a great day. Let's get into this. Here are the five things that I like about the Vegas Golden Knights. Number one, 2018. Now, the team was born prior to 2018. So you might be asking, well, why 2018? What does that have to do with why you like the uh, Vegas Golden Knights? And well, it was the year that I actually went to Vegas during their playoff run in uh, the conference finals into the Stanley Cup finals against the Washington Capitals. I was there. I wasn't specifically in Vegas, but I was around Vegas for the three weeks um, late May into June. And it was honestly, I mean, I've been very lucky. I take, a, I've taken a lot of vacations in my life and I can, I can honestly say that that was one of, if not my favorite vacation I've ever taken. Uh, I went down by myself, met up with some friends, did a little road trip, uh, spent some time by myself again, and then, uh, met up with some, another friend and did another little road trip and then spent up spend some more time with myself and then met some other friends. So it was a really cool experience. I got to meet a lot of uh, awesome people. I enjoyed the city so much. It was just a, just a tremendous city. The people are so incredibly nice there. It's not this place where you go and you see, you know, you're going to get, I mean, I guess I can't really say you're not going to get robbed. I'm sure there's some places in Vegas that, uh, you, you know, you could find yourself in trouble, but I, I hear so many bad things, or I heard so many bad things about Vegas of being, you know, Sin City, and you know, be careful going to Vegas and all this stuff. Man, I never felt safer in a city. I don't think it was. A, I just had a tremendous time there. It was awesome. People were just so great, and I loved my whole experience there in Vegas. So, 2018 is a really, really special year for me, and I think back about on that vacation quite frequently. And there's vlogs on this channel from that trip. So, if you haven't seen those, please go check them out. Number two, Gerard Gallant. Now, as I film this, unfortunately, Gerard Gallant is no longer with the team, but he was one of the reasons that I originally started to really cheer for the Vegas Golden Knights, even before they became successful. And that's because Gerard Gallant is from Prince Edward Island. Now, I've spent the majority or at least half of my adult life uh, living in Prince Edward Island in, in Charlottetown, or in Stratford specifically, just across the, the river there from uh, Charlottetown. So, you know, I had to cheer for the hometown guy or the hometown boy, and that is Gerard Gallant. And it was really unfortunate when I saw him be fired by the Vegas Golden Knights. I think that was a big mistake. Um, but regardless, I, he's still one of the reasons why I originally started to cheer for the Vegas Golden Knights. And I mean, Vegas isn't even in my top five of teams that I cheer for, but I do cheer for them in a way because of Gerard Gallant. So uh, I really appreciate him and what he did for that organization. Number three, the fans. So number three, the fans. Much like in number one, the people of Vegas, and number th in number three now, the fans all kind of, I mean the same thing. Just a tremendous group of people. Every single Vegas fan that I met when I was there was so nice, so helpful, so willing to, you know, just chat about hockey or chat about whatever. They're just very personable people. I have not met, uh, that's a lie, I, that, that, that's a lie. I did meet one extremely rude Vegas fan that I had kind of had it out with on Twitter at one point, but they, had, they have since apologized and, uh, you know, things are, things are good there. So, I mean, I, at least someone who, you know, most of the time it's just some person hiding behind a screen, spewing crap out of their mouth and trying to insult me and on all this stuff, which is fine, whatever. This person, even though we had a disagreement and we had it out, um, they, you know, they, they apologized afterwards. And I appreciate that because uh, if you can admit you're wrong and stuff, I'm not saying that I wasn't wrong and I should have, shouldn't have been arguing or should have been arguing, whatever. It's, a, I don't even remember what it was about at this point. It was years ago, but, um, you know, they, they, they swallowed and they they apologized and I really appreciate that. So that was the only negative experience I've had with a Vegas fan, but I've had so many incredible positive experiences, uh, specifically when I was there. And I just can't, I can't say anything negative about that fan base. I just, I love them so much. Number four, the misfit story. It's not a typical team. It's, it's a team where you have castaways from other teams kind of come and you know, try and make it work. They are they're misfits, and they kind of play off that story. And that's what's awesome about the team. They know that they're kind of misfits or outcasts, and they use that to their advantage emotionally. 
and marketing wise those that that saying or that phrase is on t-shirts all over t-mobile arena that you can buy and it, i mean it's cool it's it, it's cool because it's the truth i mean they are misfits they are they are castaways and they have to come together and figure it out and they did which is awesome number five nevada state all right, so this kind of goes back to number one a little bit when talking about my trip. I spent so much time in Nevada driving around uh, Vegas and then driving. I drove from Vegas over to Page, Arizona. So I kind of went like up into Utah a little bit and then back down and over to Page. So I got to see a little bit of Nevada that way. And then when I came back around and I was driving by myself, I went up to Reno. And that was a that was a long that was a long day. That was a long drive, but it was a probably the most fav uh, favorite drives I've ever done because I did it by myself and it's you know it's it's cool, cool to share experiences with others and stuff but to say that you did something by yourself and you didn't have help and you you know you just kind of had some me time that was that was me time for me so I really enjoyed that and I got to see so many cool things driving up through Nevada up into Reno and then I went over into California so I just I love the state there's so many different things to see in Nevada and it's just a really unique part of the world I live in Atlanta Canada where things are green and lush and you know, you don't see lizards and all this other stuff. So that that whole state is kind of a foreign land to me. But I really appreciate it. I love it. And I can't wait to go back. All right, that kind of wraps up this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want to take a couple minutes down below and leave your five favorite things about the Vegas Golden Knights, that would be awesome. I really read all the comments. So I'd love it if you could share your thoughts down below. All right, guys, hope you're having an awesome day. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll catch you in the next video. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.